So this could be, could be Marie Laveau's tomb or her daughter, who is also named Marie Laveau. We're gonna go see the primary, what's considered the primary tomb of Marie Laveau. And here are some markings. I'm trying to only get tour guide, a certified tour guide, and you see Mark, and we are going to go move down to see, okay, and more X's here. This is the secondary, what's considered the secondary tomb of Marie Laveau. Thank you. And we are going to primary tomb. All right, you guys, bear with me here. I want to keep my recording going because I can't mesh the two. So I'm going to try to keep this as steady as I can. But yeah. St. Louis Cemetery number one, New Orleans, Louisiana, guys. Check it out. We do bury the dead above ground because they are below sea level and these guys will float out in a flood. It has happened. Where is the one? They're just shaking their heads. Like, yep, that's blood. Get some peroxide. I'll take blood out. We've left, and Trina Soda and Mark with blood. Three X's on the side of the tomb. So please don't do that. <laughs> but if y'all want to take pictures, leave coins, or anything like that, feel free. Uh, whenever y'all are done, I'll be right over here. And if y'all have questions about it, just let me know. Apparently, this is the primary tomb. been restored. So that's Widow. That's ah, okay. So she was um, yeah. Femi Perry, Widow by him, because he was the one who died. Um, and then this is her full name. Okay. Yeah. Having taken her second lover's name, even though they were married. Okay. Thank you. Y'all have any questions about me? Well, it's kind of a complicated subject. And y'all are here we go. So this is supposed to be the official tomb or He is a practicing Haitian Voodoo priest. He's been to Haiti multiple times to reach higher levels of Voodoo priesthood. Growing up, when you grew up together in the same hometown, and, and as you can see the X's. Voodoo, so the governors, we've been doing this 
go Mark. <laughs> this is considered the city of the dead. The city of the dead guys. Nicholas Cage's tomb. He's I'm not surprised. <laughs> His career is dead, so that might be very weird. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, of course, is the ancient burial symbol they expect for the pyramids of Giza. Some people think it has less to do with that long and rich tradition and more to do with the national treasure. Yeah. 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 Pluto means all from one. Right. And sometimes. Sometimes women will come by and pay tribute to get like lipstick marks on the <laughs> And sometimes you believe coins as well. I think they're trying to help increase people's losses. Because <laughs> you might have heard uh, Nick Cage went bankrupt a while back. And he's evading his taxes, which apparently the IRS doesn't like. So he's making a lot of really terrible movies, like Ghost Rider 2, because he'll take any job they give him, basically. And some people think that maybe this isn't even a tomb that says they've kind of been buried inside the thing, maybe it's a tax umbrella. Right where he's got some right. stored inside of Iris, can't get to it, or maybe he's gonna auction it off and the money real bad, which sounds insane, but it's the case. So he's like, he's pretty scared. Also, you notice he has a little so package too, that says to protect all the air. So, this is a service that the Arts Diocese started to provide back in the 80s, where if you pay them, they'll take care of the tomb for you. But the idea is they do an assessment and you pay a flat fee based on that, then they invest that money, and the interest generated by the investment is what they use to maintain. They can do this indefinitely. And nowadays, if you buy a tomb like Nick Cage did, you have to buy a protective appearance in front of the tomb. But you notice you have some tombs that are still falling apart. That's because they put eight people here, and the families were never around to buy them. They're still falling 